A few weeks ago, we got an email from TikTok that one of the accounts we work in now has access to their new attribution manager tool. Now, attribution models can be a really complicated portion of digital advertising, but they can also be very important and very powerful if you utilize them correctly. So in this video, we wanna talk about what attribution windows are. I wanna show you how to adjust them in the new TikTok attribution manager. And then we'll talk about some scenarios where you might wanna customize them to your account. I wanna start off in the TikTok Business Help Center going through their documentation about attribution as a quick overview. I think this will be really helpful if you are just getting used to attribution and understanding what it is. And for those of you who already know, you can skip to the next section if you'd like. At a very high level, attribution is what we use to understand the actions that a user takes after they click or view an ad that we have on the TikTok or quite frankly, any other advertising platform. As TikTok says here, it is most commonly used with conversion tracking when we're trying to connect the click or the view of that ad to a desired outcome, whether it's a purchase, a lead fill, an app download, any of those additional actions after the fact. We wanna be able to attribute the performance of those ads, ad sets, and campaigns to that later stage conversion action so we know what's actually moving the needle for our business. So understanding the performance of our campaigns is obviously a main function of attribution and why we wanna make sure that that is set up properly. There are some other secondary outcomes from attribution that we'll talk about here in just a minute. But before we get there, I wanna talk about the attribution logic that TikTok has down here. Because as we've talked about, this is going to be tied back to a user's click or a view of your ad. So there are going to be two different types of attribution we can use, and TikTok has a pretty good rundown of what each of those are here. The first is click-through attribution. I think this is the one that people utilize the most. So when a user clicks on a TikTok ad and then completes the desired conversion action, again, whether it's a download, a purchase, whatever, it will be attributed to TikTok as a click-through conversion because the user clicked on the ad and then took that desired action. The other type of attribution model is a view-through attribution. And that's simply when a user views, but does not click a TikTok ad and then completes the desired action later on, that will be attributed through as a view-through conversion. TikTok then makes a distinction here and says that any click-through attribution will trump the view-through conversions. So if you have two different ad creatives or campaigns that a user engaged with, the one that they clicked through on will have the performance attributed to it, and the one that had a view-through will not. Additionally, on any single ad that somebody engages with, you have to technically view the ad to be able to click it, but if somebody clicked on it, you will not have that same conversion attributed in both the click and view through column. It will only show up in the click column, even though they technically also viewed it. So just a little bit of clarification there. Now the rest of this section actually talks about the MMP or mobile measurement partners within TikTok, which is really an in-app setup. If you look over here on the left in the breadcrumb on the help section here, I'm actually in the in-app events section, but I thought this was the best attribution overview, whether it's for app tracking or web. But for the rest of this video, I actually wanna talk about just the web events and the web attribution. So I'm gonna come click up here. And just like the app section does a better job giving an attribution overview, I think the web section does a better job telling you why attribution matters beyond just campaign performance. Regardless, all of the stuff that I'm talking about in this video is going to be platform agnostic, meaning that everything that we're gonna talk about could either be for web events or it could be for in-app events. I'm not going into the specifics of each of those. If you're interested in any of them, you can read through these help articles and find out which one makes the most sense for you. But for the rest of this section, I just wanna focus down here on the different attribution products and why they matter. I'm gonna talk about the next two bullets together because they kind of lead into each other. So the first is building marketing audiences. If you're creating audiences off of your web visitor events, the attribution window is going to matter for those because you wanna make sure that you're counting the right people and building audiences out of the ones that matter the most to you. You can then also utilize those to create lookalike audiences to find new customers. So making sure that you're attributing performance to the right events during the right windows is gonna be important for you to either re-engage with those users or to find new audience members. 
You can then also optimize your ad delivery within the TikTok platform by designating a specific event that you want to take place. And then TikTok will be able to better find the audience members within your marketing audiences that are more likely to take that action and trigger that event in that attribution window. So you're not only helping to build audiences, but you're also giving TikTok more information to know which users within that audience to serve to. And then lastly, it's not on this page, it's on the other page, but it also impacts the different bidding strategies as well. So making sure that you have all of the different attribution windows set appropriately so that you're tracking the performance and finding new users and bidding competitively on those users is all going to feed into this attribution. So now that you have an understanding of what attribution is on the whole, the two different types of attribution that TikTok uses and why they're important to your campaign performance, let's hop into a TikTok ads account and I'll show you how to find the attribution manager and we'll talk through some of the customizations you can make for your accounts. In the ads platform, the attribution manager is going to live within the events section. So in the main navigation up here at the top, I'm gonna to go to assets and click on events. For this account, we do not have an app and there's nothing set up in the app events section. So I'm gonna use the web events manager to walk you through the attribution stages. Here you can see that we have our pixel set up. We've got all of our events, all this sort of thing. It's relatively low volume. That's what you get for a placeholder account. But the attribution manager is actually going to be not super prevalent on the screen, but it's gonna be up here in the upper right where you can manage your attribution settings. Now that will open a completely different window that looks just like this. You'll be able to see all of the different standard event types that show up within any TikTok ads account. Everything from download, consult, button click, all that good stuff is gonna show up over here. And then we have columns for each of the two different types of attribution. We have the click through attribution window and the view through attribution window. And if at any point you forget which one is which, you can hover over this and it will tell you a little bit more about what each one of them is just to jog your memory. Now we get to start customizing the different windows to our own liking. You can see here that everything is going to default to a seven day click, one day view through attribution. And that's actually what the Facebook platform switched to. It used to be a 28 day click, one day view, and then they narrowed it down to seven. But TikTok actually gives us the ability to extend these ranges just a bit. So for the click through attribution window, you have a number of different options. And all you have to do to change it is hover over a certain line item and click this pencil down to edit window. You'll see there's a warning here that says changes to the attribution window will directly affect data reporting and measurement for your ad campaign. That's exactly what we want it to do. But just so you know, every time you make a change here, you're gonna be impacting how TikTok is measuring performance of your campaigns. And it's also potentially going to make it more difficult to compare future performance to past performance because the attribution window has changed. Now with that, you do have a number of different options for the window for click through. You can do one day, seven days, 14 or 28. So you can extend it up to the 28 day range. And depending on which event you're trying to customize, it might make sense to keep many things at the seven day range. There might also be some that make sense for one day, but then things like the 14 days and 28 days attribution window, I personally think are better for businesses where you're trying to attribute performance of a form fill, complete registration, complete payment, or place an order because those are much more bottom of the funnel type of conversion actions. And depending on your business, it might take users a little bit of time to get comfortable enough with you to actually take that action. The example that I've used a number of times is that nobody's going to buy a car the first time they see an ad. So it takes a little bit for them to get there. So maybe if you're trying to sell a car or something like that, you might want to extend the attribution window to 28 days. But if all you're trying to do is have somebody view content, maybe sign up for a webinar or download a white paper, the seven days or one day range is gonna make more sense. If I'm honest, I don't really know anything that I would want to be a one day click through event type other than maybe view content or a page view. But even then I would still probably just leave it at the default seven days range. So as a rule of thumb, I probably wouldn't limit your click through attribution window to one day or anything lower than seven, but there might be some conversion actions further down the funnel that make sense for you to use 14 or 28 days depending on your business model. So for now, I'm gonna leave this one where it is. I'm gonna click cancel. 
And then the option for view through is going to be very similar. So you just come over, click the pencil next to the one day range. Again, you'll get the warning that this is gonna change the attribution window and your data will be directly affected. And then for the view through attribution window, we only have three different options. You can turn attribution off, you can have one day, which is the default, or you can extend it to seven days. View through is different than click through in my mind because most people have strong feelings about it one way or another. In my experience, people either think that view through matters just as much as click through and they would wanna extend it to seven days and capture as much as they can, or they think that view through doesn't mean a darn thing and they would rather turn it off and only have click attribution. My only rule of thumb for view through attribution is that it should be consistent across every ad platform you use. If you have Facebook, including the one day view through attribution, you should also have TikTok including it. And you should also have every other platform that allows view through conversions to also have the same one day view through attribution window. If you have it turned off on one platform, it should be turned off on all platforms. The main goal here is to make sure that we are getting as close as we can to comparing apples to apples and understanding across platforms which channels, campaigns, ad sets, and ads are performing best so that we'll have a better idea of where to allocate our budget on any given day. And your attribution window is going to be a big factor in that. If you have TikTok utilizing a 28 day click through attribution and a seven day view through attribution, but you have Facebook only on a seven day click and no view through attribution, I'll almost guarantee you that TikTok performance is going to look a lot better than Facebook. And a big reason for that is going to be because of your attribution window and nothing else. So no matter what you're doing with the attribution window on this platform, make sure that it matches what you're using on all of the others so that all of your marketing will be at least comparable to each other across platforms. In the end, the attribution manager in TikTok is really not complex at all. It is very easy to customize the windows that you want for any of the individual events within the platform. The part that's more challenging and needs to have a decent amount of attention paid to it is your overall strategy with attribution. Do you have some conversion actions that need a longer window or a shorter window? Do you think that view through attribution is important and should be a part of your business model? Or do you wanna rely solely on click through attribution? What all platforms are you advertising on and which ones can you customize the attribution windows for? If there's a platform where you can't customize the attribution window, it probably makes sense to take the platforms where you can, like TikTok or Facebook, and customize those windows to match the platforms where you can't. That way they are comparable and you'll be able to allocate your budget accordingly. Hopefully we've taken a little bit of the mystery out of attribution. My guess is that some of you have also made it more complex than you thought it was, so I apologize for that. But this is a really important portion of your advertising campaigns because it impacts your campaign performance, which will impact your budget allocation. And it also matters for your audiences, your ad delivery, and any of your bidding strategies. So if you have any additional questions after this run through, please leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week. So if you want to get notified of when a new one comes out, be sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel.